Hi, my name's Keith Cooper and in this short video um, I'm going to show a device I use for some of my macro photography. It's a new slide rail from Rogetti. Now I've looked at some Rogetti items in the past, uh, tripod heads, special lens mounts and things, and they tend to produce quite specialised equipment um, that I find very useful in my types of photography. Now, the one I'm looking at here is a micro slide rail. Now, this is it set up as I would normally have it set up in the studio. And uh, this is it. comes in a nice box, as uh, Rigetti stuff tends to. And um, there's the slide rail. Now, it has a screw thread along here. You can tighten up the Arcus type clamp on the top here, and it's an Arcus style base plate on the bottom. Now I can just tighten up the clamp, but there's also a friction adjustment for the top here. Now the gearing on it is such that uh, it only takes one turn of this handle here to move 12 millimeters. So it's uh, quite a good movement on it. Now it's solid. I've had quite a weight on this and set up in the studio setup and it works very well. And you get with it um, an XY plate. Now I've got some more pictures and I've got a short review of this on the Northlight site, but uh, I'll just do this videos really to sort of go with the reviews. Now the XY plate can be mounted um, either on the top so you would use it to change the direction of mounting. I've got one shown here with another attachment on it, but that's with the plate to change the axis. Or you can use it underneath, which you mount it, and it has a screw thread at the bottom. You mount that on something, either uh, an Arca style clamp or a screw thread, and that mounts it. Now you can use this for offsetting a camera. I'm using it just for positioning. Now I use it with a stack shot motorized rail. So the rail gives me movement backwards and forwards for focus stacking, whereas this gives me positioning left and right and gives a very smooth positioning. And I find it easier to use than one of the normal micro threaded ones that you have to keep twiddling a bit to uh, do with that. But anyway, that's the basic thing. So you have a clamp that can either go on the bottom or it can go on the top. For additional flexibility, I happen to use it with a GZA1, which is a geared version of something like this that rotates. So that gives me very fine movement of the camera. And if I go back to There we go, that's details of that as the thread. Now, if I put this on top here, and it will lock in place. There we go, lock that in place. I've now got a fine rotational movement added to the movement across. Let's slap that off. And there we go for that. Now that's the threading here is quite fine, gives nice movement on. Now, I might not want this. This doesn't have a clutch in it. I've got, um, if you have a look at the review on the website, you'll find details of all of these. Now, it's a, it's a bit tricky showing some of this stuff on video, but uh, as I have a look at the pictures as well. The other version of it I have, if I want more flexibility, is to use a 360 device. So this is another XY cap, slacken that off, and that gives me free movement. Now I can take the uh, spindle off there and just have it. So it's quite possible to have it mounted so that you have one rotational plate underneath and either an XY plate on the top or a 360 plate. Anyway, the combinations of all this lot really depends on what it is you want to do with it. Um, I use it for macro photography and I use it for positioning camera. I've seen examples on the Rogetti site where they use it for offsetting camera on the top of the tripod. So you have your tripod, comes up here, clamp there, and then you offset your camera off to the side. Now I've got types of tripod that actually have an offset head on them anyway, so I wouldn't necessarily use it for that. But for my macro use, 
it's nice and precise uh, and works well. But anyway, if you're curious, have a look at the review on the website. It's got lots more details and stuff. Um, as I say, like all Rogetti kit, it's very solidly built. Nice solid bits, solid bits of metal. And well, you come with all kinds of attachments and things as well. Hope that's of some interest. Do have a look at the various playlists on the site. Um, I tend to cover items of kit like this, which are stuff that I include in my day-to-day -day work. So this is for my studio use, but this is light enough um, that I would put this and a few more of these in the Pelly case if I took it on a job and wasn't sure, say for um, industrial work. Uh, I needed some precise movement taking photographs in factories or something like that. Just gives that extra bit of flexibility in your setup and your shot taking. So if you've got any questions, please feel free to ask and uh, subscribe to the channel if you find it helpful. Thank you very much.